Good afternoon. This is Osamu Wakabayashi from Zen Ideas. Today, I want to talk about how you can create a user profile single page. Single page. Uh, this is useful if you are working on like members uh, directory uh, website, that kind of stuff. So I've been working on the volunteer management system. It's a membership website. And uh, here on the left hand side is these are company and organization uh, members. So this is on public. So people can see, uh, for example, here, uh, if you click Apple, for example. So you see the individual company uh, information here. So this is just a, a single uh, user page template so that I created. So this is easy to create. Now, another one is on the right hand side. So I have uh, volunteers uh, profile. And then so here are just the listing for a volunteer applicant here. And then this is not for um, publicly available. So this is like only login user, only member can see it, like a login member can see a volunteer's profile. So they are listing here. And then if you click that one of them, so they see it. So uh, once again, kind of similar template on the right hand side, this one, this is just meta, uh, metadata, right? Saying so, that you can go back. Now, as you see, I have uh, two different types of uh, users, users. So two uh, roles, one is members and the other one is volunteers. And I think WordPress, uh, they use same table, uh, but they have different ID number, right? And then, so I have two different types of user profiles. And I talked to a Kuroko team and they said I cannot do two types of different uh, user uh, profile page. Only one uh, user kind of profile page, if you kind of understand. But anyway, so I kind of walked around and I found out uh, the way to create uh, two, even probably three, uh, types of uh, different uh, the user profile page. So as I said earlier, but one, this is company uh, listing directory is uh, viewed to the public. And for individual volunteers, a uh, profile page, these are only for members, has to be logged in. So I've been using that, uh, what's that, uh, dynamic uh, visibility, visibility plugin, well, the widget for this. And this could be useful uh, if you're working on some uh, job board um, site, uh, you know, company role and maybe job seekers role, uh, kind of similar setup, right? And also uh, maybe teachers and the student, if you're working for like a university uh, website, maybe internet website, right? So I think this could be useful to you if you're working on this type of um, project. Let me show you how I did it. So let's go to uh, Jetta Engine Profile Builder section here. And then here pages. So make sure uh, the single user page, you turn this on. Here, the single user page. So you have to create one single user page. So go to, uh, I can show you, uh, open up a new tab. Uh, member profile page. Yeah, I think in this one here. Again, so I show that to you. This is just a blank page. You just create a page. And the inside is just blank. Okay. Now let's go back to this profile builder. And once you, you publish this page and you see it, you just pick a member profile page. I mean, you can name it whatever that is. And then the user page rewrite. So use user ID. And uh, what well, you can use nickname or username too, but for me, I just use ID, uh, just number. Uh, yeah, that means um, here, I mean, you can see uh, this ID is three, right? So I, I just use uh, ID number here and template, template mode is uh, rewrite. Next one is go to user page here. Now I have created two user page you know, you just hit add a new sub page. So one is for volunteer candidate profile. I show you the inside. 
here and then the title this is just the title you can use and the slug and then uh, here template I'll show you uh, my template later and then now next is hide from menu uh, turn this on and then page visibility uh, what was that here oh, okay so that's okay so hit use all and I show this page for the user role admin just me and also this is member only right so this only member can see it or member can access it and then the next one is single member directory page so this is for public again here is a, just slug uh, you can put whatever you want to and then now you probably notice that so I'm using the same template here member organization single page template okay so I'll show that to you um, later on this template and then the other setting the same except for page visibility is all um, because this is for public all right so just to hit save here all right so I'm gonna show you uh, my template here actually I should have started with a template and to show this to you the profile page uh, but anyway um, sorry that I'm kind of doing a little bit backwards so let's go to um, template here go to save the template I think I think this member organization single page so I'm gonna, uh, open with Elementor now here is a trick here it's one template but this template has uh, two types of uh, profile so as you see this is company logo here and this is company or organization uh, profile section and this one right here is the download resume so this is a volunteer applicant profile and then bottom here too about organization and then those meta information here so this is for organization and the bottom here is a candidate so I'm sharing uh, those two information in one plate plate now let's um, so I'm not gonna really go through this element um, because there are so many tutorials so you probably see you know I'm using I think these are dynamic um, uh, dynamic field and then probably do a dynamic meta um, that kind of stuff right so and then so I can show you a visibility section here so this is company heading you see the company logo here so hit advance and then uh, dynamic visibility oh just one sec so dynamic visibility uh, I think this is just add-on uh, let me just uh, quickly check uh, let me pause my video here okay so go to jet this is under jet engine here click that and then here's a module and then here you see dynamic visibility for widget and section so you can just manually turn this on okay then uh, go back to this template so when you go to advance and the dynamic visibility it should be here and then here you can see uh, show or hide elements so I picked the hide element if condition met so the condition here is profile page okay so this is a profile page and so which profile page this is a single user page for volunteer uh, candidate profile so I'm hiding this section in the profile page and then this single user page the volunteer candidate profile which is go to uh, jet engine profile builder on the user page that I showed you earlier that this page and I'm using this template member organization single page which is this template now it's kind of confusing uh, I cannot really explain well um, but um, hang on let's just uh, go to so this is actually the profile page here you see that uh, volunteer candidates and then so when you go to and the profile page this volunteer candidate profile I mean using this same template but actually it's not showing because this section is hiding uh, when user go to this page which is you see oh here you see that um, uh, volunteer candidate profile here 
okay? So same as on this section two about organization, I'm using the same settings, advanced, and then go to dynamic visibility, hide uh, element if condition met, is a profile page, which profile page, it's a volunteer candidate profile. And actually, it is actually uh, on this page, but it's hidden because I set the condition. So as a user only, um, the candidate information can see it on this pe uh, page. Does that make sense? Uh, probably not, I'm not really explaining well. Now, let's go to, uh, the member directory is kind of opposite. Let's just hit that, you know, one of them, Apple, for example. <laughs> so there's a logo and then company name and then description and those meta uh, field here. So using actually same template here. Now, if you look at this candidate header here and then take a look at dynamic visibility and hide element if condition met, uh, profile page and the single user page, single member directly, which is here on the profile builder section user page. And then um, uh, here, single member directly. As you see, I'm sh using the same template, right? Member organization, single page, member organization, single page. So for this single member directly page, uh, I'm hiding it, this section. And the same as here about the candidate section here, detail section, same settings, go to dynamic uh, visibility and the profile page, and then a single member directory. So that means, so when I go to single member directory, you see the URL here, member directory. And then, uh, so actually it is using same template here, but just hiding that uh, candidate volunteer header and the information. Does that make sense? If it doesn't, uh, I apologize. And I'd like to show you um, the listing here too. You probably wonder how I did this, you know, just click view profile and then how to, you know, why it takes in this page like that. So I'll show you my listing page. Uh, okay, so this is just a listing here. Uh, just logo. So this is just uh, the image, right? So just the user image, because this is a user, not custom post type. Okay, just using the user image. And then this is just the metadata. Uh, yes, I'm using uh, member press. So this is just member press, uh, the meta field. And here, uh, you probably wonder, so this view profile. So I use the dynamic link and that the source is profile page, right? It's a profile page. And then uh, which profile page? The single member directory. And then, uh, yeah, this is just a label. Uh, yeah, if you wanna make it a bit fancy, it looks like button, uh, you can do that too. And the content is default object. Now let's go to volunteer candidate listing here too. Uh, it's kind of same idea. Uh, I'm sure this is just a metadata, first name, uh, last name here. Uh, I think this is from a user uh, meta field. And then these are just uh, another meta field from jet engine. And they are oh, here actually the view profile. I've made it to look like button, but essentially it's the same uh, using dynamic link, uh, same settings, uh, profile page, except for uh, which profile page, um, uh, volunteer candidate profile. And then, so I got this little icon and I think uh, probably, yeah, so probably just uh, the style here. I just, the background color is blue and then the padding here. And then, you know, I got the border radius here. So, you know, it looks like uh, more like a pill shape. Uh, you can probably do that too. Um, so anyway, I think that's it. And I hope this is helpful to you. Um, I knew that uh, with the jet engine, you can create that uh, the single user page like that. Uh, you can design and you can make it. And I wasn't sure that because in my case, I have two different types of user role and then uh, kind of different 
uh, accessibility too. Uh, I couldn't really find out uh, croc block knowledge base or even like I ask uh, the support team uh, they couldn't really navigate uh, me through uh, to the solution so anyways some lucky me uh, I found some work around to do this so um, I just want to share with you guys and then uh, um, you know uh, work on a you know, great project and uh, I'd like to uh, see um, like your project as well so thank you very much I'll see you soon